What's up guys and welcome back to Tan in this channel. After I did a review on the Wilson Shift 300, I got uh, many requests for me to try the 315 as well and today is the day. Look at this. I think now I understand why it's called the Shift because it seems like the color of the racket shifts to the color of the string. So now it looks like white and blue a combination. The last time when I played with the 300, the string is in dark gray and the color doesn't look like this. So this is pretty interesting. Okay, the racket is 99 square inches head size, 18 by 20. The unstrung weight is 315 grams. And after I strung it with Solingo Confidential 3.0 17 gauge, um, the swing weight went up to 334 and the strung weight went up to 340. This is a pretty heavy racket. Before we go to the court, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tennis content. Okay, first let me do a quick summary on the Shift 300 so you will get the idea of how different it is between the 300 and 315. Overall, the racket is a spin monster, it's powerful and it's great on the surf. The Shift 300 is a fast racket, very maneuverable and easy to move with. On the ground strokes, I can go with high clearance above the net just fine with all the top spin I can get. The downside though is that it has a small sweet spot and not very forgiving compared to the other rackets in the same umbrella. Now let's move on to the Shift 315. This one is a heavier version with 18 by 20 string pattern, so it's supposed to have more control on the shots. The string setup is Confidential 3.0 with tension of 48 pounds. On the ground strokes, from the very first shot I hit, I was like, what is this? First, the launch angle is significantly lower than the Shift 300 and I can hardly get it over the net in the first 5 minutes or so. Second, it's a lot heavier than the 300 in the hand, and it takes a lot of effort to swing. Third, it's not as powerful as the 300, but that is to be expected with the 18 by 20 string pattern. The racket is still not forgiving, same as on the Shift 300. It has pretty small sweet spot, and hitting off could lead to the ball getting out of control and lacks penetration. On the power level, it's still a bit more powerful than the Pro Staff X and the Blade, I would say. But it's pretty tricky here. If you hit heavy topspin, you can unlock that power. But if you change to hitting flat, the power drops like a lot. At first, I don't have the issue that much because I mostly hit with topspin on my forehand, but later I began to notice it, especially on my backhand because it's like half flat, half topspin on that wing, and I somehow struggle to get it past the net. On the spin, it's a bit confusing. The racket has a great spin potential, but the access to that is very tricky. I feel like the racket has two behaviors, so if I go with my normal swing path, which is somewhat medium topspin, the ball can go either with topspin or flat. The response from the racket is inconsistent, and if the ball goes flat, it went straight into the net. So, later I have to adjust my swing by really dropping the racket head below what I normally do before swing up, and really need to focus on getting that bite on the ball to unlock that power and spin potential. That the ball goes with high launch angle and equipped with a lot of topspin like hitting with the Shift 300. But if I try to hit flatter shots or even like 50% flat and 50% topspin, the racket doesn't bite the ball enough and again, the ball gets no power and ran into the net. So this is basically what I don't like about this racket because I feel like I need to focus more and think more on shot making instead of uh, just thinking about where to place the ball. But if you have a swing path like Nadal or Modern Swing very top spin ground strokes, I think you should be fine. The feel of the racket is solid and responsive. The racket feels firm but still comfortable enough. I think the comfort is close to the blade even with higher stiffness rating. On the control, the racket has no precision like the Pro Staff or the blade. It's more like I'm just guiding the ball to go to the direction I want. I feel like I can hit topspin cross-court pretty well, 
but when it tries to go down the line, it's not very accurate. Most of the time, it goes too much into the court when aiming for the line. The depth control, again for me, it's also about the access to the spin. If I enter the right door into the top spin room, I know the ball is going to land deep, but if I enter the wrong door by hitting in between, top spin and flat, I know I'm done. On the serve, I think it's the same as the Shift 300. It's powerful on the first serve, maybe not as powerful as the 300, and I got a very good percentage on the first service. But the ball placement though, I would say it's often doesn't go where I want. There are many times that I aim for the tee, but ended up serving to the middle of the box. To summarize, I think it's a decent racket with power and spin potential, and it's good on serve and volley. But you have to do it right. The racket takes effort to swing, and it forces you to swing fast to generate topspin. Thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Bye!